you guys? Uh, I've got a, a, a really cool guitar here that I uh, that I do play quite a bit. I, I don't do as many videos with it, but um, but it was screaming out to me that it's been lonely, it needs a little love. It's getting a little jealous, so I said, "All right, calm down. I got plenty of love for you." So anyway, here it is. It's a um, American Standard Fender Stratocaster. <laughs> What? What? Don't look at it. You can't. It, it can't be touched. It can't be played. Absolutely not. Uh, in a beautiful, creamy white frosting <laughs> filling inside. Um, so anyway, what I've got here is um, just your standard American Strat, and um, it's about. It's from. It's from about two thousand and six. So it's not like a vintage kind of guitar. Uh, or anything like that. It's basically sh um, your American standard, straight, you know, st you know, straight out of the out of the store kind of thing. No, I have no special, um, you know, modifications on it. The only thing I've done to it, and this is just my own personal choice, is this bridge right here. I have it locked, which just means there's no whammy, uh, no whammy bar, and also the bridge doesn't move at all. And for me, that's just because my personal style is not. I don't use you know whammy too much actually I don't use it at all the hollow body I have doesn't have one and so I'm used to you know just my bag of tricks you know not requiring a whammy but then the also thing with this guitar you know if I'm like really digging in and I break a string you know when you have a, 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 a tremolo bridge that moves with the whammy bar if you break a string the whole guitar goes out of tune it's unusable like if you're on stage so for me you know I don't have you know, very rare that I would have like a, a roadie or something like that. So for me, if I break a string, at least the guitar is still pretty much in tune so I can finish the song out or, um, you know, you know, have enough time to, to switch guitars while I'm still playing it in tune. So that's one thing. Um, another thing, you know, the neck. Um, typically, you know, a Fender guitar has, you know, you typically have two choices in, in the, the fretboard on the neck. Um, this is a rosewood, you know, dark, but you've probably seen other guitars that um, are a light tan wood color on the neck. And actually, and that would be a maple neck. Now, I have one of each, so for me, it's just like, you know, uh, chocolate or vanilla, really. Um, and today is chocolate. But, you know, I'm sure, you know, you get these, um, you know, real guitar enthusiasts. I'm more of a guitar playing enthusiast as opposed to, you know collecting guitar oh i gotta have a rosewood neck and oh this is this will not do it's the the mape the curly maple isn't as good as the flame maple you know that kind of stuff you know I, I i respect that but for me i've always been about playing you know like oh that guy's a great player what is he playing you know as opposed to um what kind of guitar is that that's amazing and i do appreciate fine instruments but for me i'm way more interested in the notes and the sound of the music than um the, the, the gear and stuff like that. I mean, obviously, we want tools um, to, you know, to, to do that. And the nicer tools you have, you know, is, you know, always a good thing. But for me, I've always, you know, been about the playing. But, um, but so anyway, we've got this killer guitar. Um, we've got, you know, different pickup selectors. And so on a Strat, you can really notice um, different tones with the different pickup selections. So when I go flip my switch all the way up this way, um, I'm only getting the, the neck pickup is what you'd call it. And it's kind of the warm, warmer, uh, not necessarily nasally, but definitely more of the famous tone that you would hear from Stevie Ray Vaughan. And, uh, and uh, you know, like Hendrix used the front pickup a ton, like... <laughs> Not to mention uh, John Mayer's really, uh, you know, brought the Strat into the uh, into the spotlight again. Not that it was ever out, but you know, you know, when you're talking about like heavy rock kind of stuff, they tend to use more Les Pauls and humbucker style pickups. Where these pickups are called single coil, and it's great for that bluesy 
you know, kind of grit and bite to it. It's a little bit brighter sounding than, you know, like a, a Gibson Les Paul or something like that. But so anyway, that was the, um, the neck pickup. If I go all the way back, it's super bright. And they use this um, bridge pickup for a lot of um, twangy country music. And, you know. kind of thing i use it i don't play a lot of country but i might use the back pickup um in conjunction with a wah pedal for uh, like a reggae kind of thing you get a really bright sound and then i can switch up to the neck again for and so you may be asking yourself how much does that thing cost um, you should be able to find, uh, just a standard American strap for about $900. So, um, you know, like I said, you know, meat and potatoes, it's no fancy things on it. Um, yeah, but hopefully within the thousand dollar range and hopefully a little below a thousand dollars. I'm a big fan of buying used guitars too. Um, because if you pick it up, if you pick up a used guitar, you know, you're saving hundreds of dollars Pick it up. If it feels good, then it can't be wrong. <laughs> so a lot of my guitars are actually used. This one actually got new, but um, I got a pretty good, you know, good good deal on it. And it's it's. I mean, it looks so cool too. I mean, I think I kind of think of you know Eric Clapton or Hendrix with this just classy, you know, white guitar, and then you know for added flavor. You know, a $20 uh, dangly cord, um, which is just, you know, kind of cool. Unfortunately, if you can see right there, I um, here's a stupid musician thing I did. Uh, um, I had it in its case in my car, and um, I needed to get my capo out of it. And so I unbuckled the, the case and pulled, uh, pulled the capo out and then left the case in there unbuckled and went to bed. And just left it in the car. And then the next morning, I was like, oh, i got to get the get the guitar out. Of course, it was a late night, you know, all that. And I had forgotten that, I, that the case was unbuckled. So I opened the door. I grabbed the case by the handle, yank it out, and the guitar just went whoosh. Flew straight out onto it. Just <laughs> dragged, on the, uh, dragged on the old driveway. So, you know. But anyway, the little distressed look, you know, is kind of cool. It wasn't. You know, on purpose though. So I lost a knobby and a little switcheroonie, and uh, and it got a nice little grind mark right there. But anyway, it's still you know, fortunately, it plays the exact same way. And um, you know, it's just a, it's a beautiful guitar. What can I say? It's absolutely beautiful. Um, so anyway, yeah, Fender Strats. Um, for me, it's cool. I like to have a nice Strat kind of Fender guitar as one option and then a nice thick humbucker pickup guitar which is you know a meatier thicker sounding guitar as you've seen with uh with my hollow body if you've um watched any videos at all so fenda what can you say rock on